what's up youtube right we're going to be taking a look at fairy house tomorrow what a beginner's chase to start the day absolutely mouthwatering it's very interesting that sandor or sorry sandor Clegange. i can't pronounce his name i murder it every time but very interesting paul nolan has decided to start this horse over two mile and a half a furlong uh, considering most of his best form was well up in trip of this however he is a very classy horse and i did see videos of him schooling and they weren't hanging about they were letting him uh, rip there was two horses upsides and they were moseying uh, imagine another one in here very interesting i like the way you're thinking very interesting as well pinkerton for sam ewan and noel mead connections and be hoping to get another nice uh, novice chase on the board after their nice horse winning in galway the horse that was placed in the staying hurdle or the staying novice hurdle at cheltenham so a really interesting race lads to start the cards kind of a notebook race for me i see sandor clagon just getting well backed but um imagine as some solid form uh, i like the way you're thinking very lightly raced as well and uh, could step up so that is a real interesting race also in the juvenile hurdle here there was a horse that made its debut uh, in cork i think the last day when finishing second eagle fang now look it's been well backed it opened five to two it's already into two to one seven to four in places so eagle fang uh, if it steps up on its car crone it could take all the beating and then i see a horse here of henry the bromheads who ran in a point to point two years ago hasn't been seen since but is being backed like defeat is out of the question 11 to 8 into 4 to 7 this is kind of a notebook meeting for me tomorrow moving forward very interesting but on tabo on tobar on tobar six-year-old not been seen since winning his point to point gordon elliott has won in here for jigginstown mcmanus has won in here for the bromhead and yet this has been absolutely backed off the board so this must tell me this horse is a bit of a jet however he has to overcome uh, some reason why he didn't run in 646 days lads just to mention the cold bear sports 100 club raffle that's going ahead this friday i'm going to do it live on facebook if you want to get a ticket for that it's 50 euro you get one, one a share in the boat of the horses you know the drill uh you can win your 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 um win your uh, stake so really nice or win your one percent equity in two horses you get all prize money you know you just really fun stuff you get to be involved in the whatsapp group the cold bear sports 100 club where there's some really cool guys in there sharing lots of tips also you get the opportunity to go racing we have one horse with paul flynn and one horse with paddy neville if you want to get involved there's only five tickets sold so far and i'm going ahead with the raffle on friday regardless um i was hoping to sell the 30 tickets that's 1500 euro covers the share for two years or till the july 1st 2025 and that covers all your expenses no hidden extras so uh, if you want to get involved i will put all the details in the comment section below check that out and uh, let's hope fubon can win tonight lads i think uh, very interesting i think this is definitely uh, going to set up from i think for a blistering performance uh, from Vuban. I just think this is by far and away the best horse Willie Mullins has ever took here. If you go to his Ascot form, when he absolutely bolted in, lads, like a lot of the judges are saying uh, absurd, Willie's other horse has a very good chance. Well, if that's the case, uh, Vuban is a penalty kick. And I'll tell you on Terry why is because in Ascot, Vuban clearly won by a furlong. Well, he won by seven lengths ease down, but he put the race to bed absolutely smashed the field and he only has to give absurd four pounds so on that day they carried level weights but it's four pounds for an absolute mountain of a beat and he beat a horse that wins the ebor lads by seven lengths pulling up and he only has the four pound turnaround so if you ask me it all sets up with a clean with a clean run through it all sets up for Vuban to run the house down. Um, so yeah, if you want to get involved in the Cold Bear Sports 100 Club Raffle, uh, all details in the section, or else you can just buy a share. The raffle details will be right down at the bottom of all the details you need to know. All right, cheers. Best of luck tomorrow. Notebooks at the ready for Fairy House. Let's get some horses for the next few weeks.